Hello everyone, Neil from Merchant Former here. In this video, we're going to go over the brand new module that we just released called the Niche Hunter and why it is so crucial that you understand how it works so that you can further your print on demand business. So in here, we are inside of Merchant Former we have placed this module under the keyword cloud. So in the left hand menu here, let's go ahead and click niche hunter. Now, when we first load it in here, this is what it will look like. You're going to have categories at the top. So you have shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and pop sockets to start off with. I think this is a really good collection of different kind of products that we can take a look at. And at the very top, you're going to see that as of right now, I am making this in January. So these are going to be keywords that are top ranked keywords that people on Amazon are actually searching for. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead for example purposes and start with pop sockets here. So I'll pick pop sockets from the category and click on search. Now, this module is broken down into a few different pieces. You have keywords on the left, search volume column, and then top ranked this week. So this is going to be a module that you want to take a look at every single week because you're going to have the highest ranked keywords that people are looking for on Amazon for the month and you'll see the month at the very top and then every week you're going to be able to come in here and see the best selling designs for the keywords people are actually looking for. So why is this so important? This is crucial to your print-on-demand business for a few reasons. In order to get a product up online and selling, you have to have three pieces of a puzzle. One is going to be the design. I hear all the time, you have to put up great designs. You have to put up good designs. And you might be thinking to yourself, what on earth does that even mean? A great design is going to be one that customers want to buy. Okay, so coming in here right away, you'll be able to see the top ranked products for the week for these particular keywords. And those are great designs because that's what customers want and that is what customers are purchasing. So that will tell you once you find a good keyword that, hey, this is what customers are purchasing. How can I come in with a unique product with the same design elements, with the same kind of keywords and Put them all together, make sure it's a unique product that will go in front of the customer and the customers actually want to purchase. Okay, so the second piece of the puzzle after a great design, which you'll be able to see on the right here, is keywords. You need to be able to get keywords into your listing in order to rank for them and put them in front of the customers. Okay, so I see people ask all the time, you know, what keywords should I use? What keywords would be good for this product? The keywords you should use are the keywords people are looking for. Okay, simple as that. Finally, you are going to want to understand the buyer's intent. Okay, so when we're going through here, just remember, what is the buyer looking for when they search these keywords? So, now that that is out of the way, three pieces of the puzzle, we're going to be returning to that quite frequently. You're going to have keywords, search volume, and top rank this week. The search volume here is sortable, but what you want to look for are keywords that actually get searched. Okay, seems pretty straightforward, but if we come down here, we can take a look. It's going to show 10 entries right off the bat, and right here, pop socket purple butterfly about 15,000 people are searching for this a month okay so we know this is a good keyword people are looking for it and here are the top five ranked products these are going to be products that people are actively purchasing so you can go ahead and click on these which will bring you over to Amazon now right off the bat here what do I notice 11 reviews so it is selling remember the keyword we just looked at was purple butterfly pop socket purple butterfly you're going to see that right here in the title. So all of a sudden we understand, all right, people are searching for this keyword. This is how the top sellers are optimizing for that keyword. And we can look at the design and say, you know what, that is, that is a great design. People want it, people are purchasing it, okay? Now further from that, we can come down here and actually look at all of the keywords they are using. We found Pop Socket Purple Butterfly. We know that that is a main keyword that we can create a new product on and optimize for, but we'll also be able to take the top five best sellers and pick out different keywords. So right here we see press flower butterfly, okay, and we see watercolor butterfly designs. So you can pick these out. Now coming back inside of the new niche hunter, 
on the left hand side right under the keyword you're going to see three buttons you have details which are going to bring up details on a quick trademark check you know related keywords kind of what kind of sales volume you can expect per month in the middle you'll be able to open up our keyword finder so find more keywords but we just introduced a brand new product search so let me go ahead and show you how that works all you need to do is click on the product search button Remember, we're looking at pop sockets here, so we'll change this category to pop sockets, click on search, and we will wait for the results to come back. All right, so the results have come back. It is loading some more items. You'll be able to stop this at any time. And this is the new and improved product search. So you'll be able to see that this comes back way faster than it did previously, but we've also added a bunch of new information here. So at the very top, you'll see the keyword we're looking for, the results, the average BSR, a bunch of pricing information. And if we scroll down here, you're going to see this looks a little bit different. You're going to see the best selling products just like we had before on the left hand side. So you'll be able to see, you know, these pop sockets are being priced high. This is almost a $19 pop socket, 73 reviews, and it is flying off the shelves. This is the one we just looked at, about 55 sales a month, priced middle of the road, four reviews doing very well. On the right hand side, you're going to see the competition score. So this is how easy it is to rank for that keyword if you were to create your own version. And down here, you're going to see related keywords. So here's a bunch of new keywords that you'd be able to use in your listing. Okay, so all of these are clickable. You can, for example, you could click on this one right here and it would open up a new window where you could do a brand new search. I'm not going to do that because I want to focus on the Merch Hunter. So let's go back there. Let's scroll to the top and let's take a look at another category. Let's go for shirts. So we'll click on shirts and click search. Now this is going to come back fairly quickly here. You're going to see that you can change how many entries you can see per view of the window. Normally it is 10 per. And at the very bottom, you'll see a ton of pages with over a thousand different entries in here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to 50. Now, when you're taking a look at these keywords, you're going to notice that a lot of them are brands. The reason for that is because remember, these are the top ranked keywords for the month on Amazon. People are searching for brands for people like Kobe Bryant that doesn't mean that you can create these shirts unless you have a license so keep that in mind when you're going through the niche hunter now your job when you're coming in here every single week and you're looking at hey what should I create what kind of unique angles can I come at you're looking for customer intent or buyers intent people on the other side of the computer what do they want to buy so for example let's just scroll down here We'll find a, uh, you know, Hawaiian shirts for men. So this might, this might be that they're looking for actual Hawaiian shirts that button up. Or if you take a look at the right, the best selling merch by Amazon designs for that keyword are focusing on actual Hawaii shirts. So you have to think to yourself, what is the buyer's intent behind this keyword? Because it gets so many searches per month. Scrolling down, we can see funny Christmas shirts. Notice how these are not phrases that are on the shirt most customers that go to amazon do not type in a specific phrase they use broad phrases like funny christmas shirts and then they look through the results now on the right here again you can see the best top ranked designs for the week now there is a uh, there is an example down here somewhere that i did want to go over so let's keep scrolling and see if we can find it we have usa shirts for women fishing shirts for men again Buyer's intent here behind a fishing shirt for men, what are they looking for? It's not, they're not looking for specific fishing phrase. They're looking for shirts about fishing. It doesn't necessarily have to be a phrase. And I think that's what a lot of merchers get wrong. They don't think about this buyer's intent and the broad overarching keywords. Now scrolling down, I am not seeing it on this page, so I'm just going to go up. And if you have a particular niche in mind that you want to look at, and if you think that it might be a top-ranked keyword for the month, you can use the search feature on the right. So I'm going to go over here, and I am going to type in Apple, and right here we'll see it, Epilepsy Awareness Shirt. Now, if you saw the article we put out on the Merch Informer blog, we went over this example pretty extensively, okay? So we have 
The keyword on the left, epilepsy awareness shirt. The search volume gets about a thousand searches a month, give or take. And you have the top ranked shirts on the right. So let's go ahead and open them because I want to point out something very specific. Here's the first best top ranked shirt of the week for that keyword. And as you can see, epilepsy awareness right there in the title 19 reviews okay it's priced high 19 reviews and this is a really cute design it's got a bear on it it says my brain waves are so powerful doctor study them Ep epilepsy awareness okay now let's look at the other top ranked designs for the week the next two i wear purple for my niece epilepsy awareness okay is there a focal piece to this design like what's the main thing that draws your eye there really isn't one. Maybe niece, right? What about this? Where, what is the main focal point? Well, it's clearly a flower. You'd have to turn your head to read it. Um, but, you know, it is priced fairly low. And then this one, the focal point is clearly the bear. It's the first thing you see in the search results. So let's go back to the niche hunter. And I always like to take a look. First, I'm going to take a look at the details button. Okay, so this will show you once it pops up here, a few bits of crucial information. It's gonna do a quick trademark check. It's gonna have all the related keywords that you might need to know in order to create your own. It'll give you estimated monthly sales volume and then a competition score for ranking a product. Now, this is the big ones. Remember how I talked about you have great designs. This first one, this is a really good design, in my opinion. Why? Because people are buying it. That's what makes a good design. Even if you don't like it, if the customer likes the shirt, it's a good design. So it's selling, it's priced high, and it's got a main focal point here. These other two do not really have main focal points. So let's take a look at the product search here. So we're going to click that button. We're going to change this to Merch by Amazon Shirts, and we're going to click on Search. So I'll give that a second to bring back the results, and then we're going to talk about it. All right, so it is. Uh, it has brought back the results here. You see in the background, it is loading more items. If you are going to do another search, you'd want to stop this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to get this notification out of the way. Now, what pops out to me right away is that the average sales rank for this keyword that we just found in the Niche Hunter is very, very high. Okay, so not many of these shirts are selling extremely well. Average price pretty middle of the road, so that is good. Now let's take a look at the results. We just looked at these shirts right here that we saw in the Niche Hunter with the competition score, a bunch of related keywords down here to take a look at, but I really wanted to go over that buyer's intent, okay? So taking a look at this shirt, and let's just take a look at the second best-selling shirt here. Right off the bat, we're going to notice that the first shirt is getting about 12 sales per month, which is fairly good. It's got 19 reviews, so it is selling. And the second best seller for that keyword is selling maybe one a month, give or take. Now, that is not very good. So why is that? Let's take a look at the information for each of these. So let's go to the details. And once this pops up here, I want you to take a look at the sales rank and price over time. So you'll see this seller focused on the price. They dropped it. They played around. But what I want you to look at here is the sales rank. Look at all these drops. Every time it drops down, the shirt is selling. So over time, the last, you know, since May, this shirt has been selling consistently. Consistent seller. So keep that in mind in the back of your head while we look at the details for the second best seller here. And here it is, this shirt has not done very well. So it didn't sell, it didn't sell, it didn't sell, it didn't sell. And then right after Christmas, looks like December 27th, it sold at least once. So this right here, not a consistent seller. And you may be asking yourself, why is that? That is because of the buyer's intent. Clearly, this is very clear, and the reason you see this average BSR is so high here, is if you look through the rest of these designs, you are going to notice that the buyer is intending, when they come and they purchase this shirt over everything else, the buyer is intending to buy this for a child with epilepsy. Okay, so you need to keep that in mind. These other shirts completely miss the mark of the buyers on the other side of the screen. They're not buying or Primarily, they're not buying for their niece or for themselves. They're primarily buying epilepsy awareness shirts because they are buying them for the kids that have it. Okay, so when you are inside of the Niche Hunter and you are looking at the top ranked, 
make sure you're taking a look at you know the keywords themselves. You want to make sure that it's a good keyword. There's buyer's intent behind it. You want to look at the top ranked shirts and you want to look at the search volume. So you want keywords that are that you can create shirts around with your own unique spend. You want to make sure they have search volume. Okay, you want to make sure that people on the other side of the screen are searching for these keywords on Amazon and then take a look at what's ranking so that you can figure out what are the customers actually wanting. So just to wrap this up, guys, every single week you want to be coming in and taking a look at the Niche Hunter. There are thousands and thousands of options in here that you can create you can reverse engineer and you can get up on Merch by Amazon with your own unique products and start making sales. So that's going to be all for this video. If you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.